So this video is going to cover the scenario where you have a local hosted website that you've been working on and developing through a GitHub repository, and now you've finished the development on your local host 3000 and you're really happy with it and you've tested it, and you want to move it to a deployed version so that you can have a public link that anyone can access. So to do this, we're just going to be using a free account on AWS. And once you go to the AWS website, just sign into the console. If you don't already have an account, you can make one. It's free. And now once you've made an account and you're on the dashboard, you're going to go to their Amplify. And once you're on Amplify, you're going to select GitHub. And once you've signed in with GitHub and connected it, it's going to prompt you to pick uh, where which repositories you basically want to allow. And I'm going to do select only specific repositories, but you can also do all the repositories if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the one that I want to deploy. And once I've selected it, I'm going to authorize it to be used by AWS. So once you've authorized it, you should be able to see it in your updated repositories. There it is. Make sure you click on it and make sure it has the branch that you want. So here I've got the main one selected, but if you have a specific one, make sure you select that one before you go to the next step. And here you can add in any environment variables you want. This project that I was working on does not need any, so I'm not going to add anything, but that is the place that you would put it. I'm going to go to next and I'm going to save it. Once you've saved it, AWS Amplify is going to go through the process of building it and deploying it, which is going to take a couple minutes. Um, and you can see the progress bar with the provision build and deploy there. So I jumped ahead now and we've completed the entire process and it has been successfully deployed. So now we can go and click on the link that AWS provides. And this is a deployed version of the repository that we were looking at. As you can see, there's a URL there that's been generated. Um, it is not a local host. It's not being from my computer. It has been deployed and it's ready to be sent out to anyone um, can be used publicly. Uh, but as we can see, it's the exact same as the local host, but now it's been deployed.